Hi everyone, before I'm uh, starting with my art journal page for today, I, I promised uh, I'm going to uh, give the name of the uh, who, whoever come up in the draw for the giveaway and I'm hoping that I'm uh, saying the name uh, correctly, it's uh, Sherry um, Sad Sajdak. <laughs> maybe it's silent i don't know but uh, sherry you are the winner of the giveaway everything is already here in the envelope please contact me uh, on facebook i'll leave a, long, uh, a link below for my page so uh, this is it and i'm going to start my art journal page this is a watercolor paper, 190 uh, grams per uh, page. And I'm going with a sponge background as a first layer. I've got here Light Antique White by DecoArt. I've got black and I've got some gray from um, something local. So I'm going to start by putting down a little bit of each of the colors and I'm gonna be working uh, with a sponge I think I will leave the the black uh, for last and I'll just start from uh, the center and out And I will need to add more of this oops, white. And it's not supposed to be a plant. I'm just tapping and making a, so I will have some variation and texture as a first layer. This is just the base to cover, <laughs> mostly to cover my page. I don't want uh, the uh, color of my uh, page showing through. I want this to show through. And now I'm going to add a little bit of the black towards the edges. And I'm just uh, adding as I go along and I don't want it to be harsh like black gray so uh, if I feel that I have too much black here uh, then I'm going in with the gray and muting it down Also going in if I feel it needs a uh, more nice coverage and some kind of a uh, gradual uh, blending. Just play around until you are satisfied with your background. There is, there are no rules to it. I want to lighting uh, 
to have more uh, light in the middle so I'm going in with the white and I'm keep I keep uh, working on this area So basically this is it, that's the start, my first layer and this needs to dry and I'll come back when it's dry, I'll be back. I'm back. This is dry, I want some details stamping, stamped on my background, I'm going to first take I've got this Har Harlequin stamp that I want in my background. It basically it doesn't matter whatever stamps you want in your background use them just for uh, added detail and texture so really go wild it really doesn't matter I know I'm going to add a uh, color to my page but <laughs> Right now, I really like what's going on here with all the, with the black and gray. So maybe next project would be something only black and gray. We'll see. Next, I want some text, which I have in this uh, uh, set of stamps just stamping randomly yeah and now i'm going to take this stamp i don't know if you can see it and again randomly on my page I really like it as is, <laughs> but uh, okay, I'll, I'll uh, continue with this uh, background and do whatever I intended to do, and we'll see. As I said, maybe next project it will be only this. So this is uh, the second layer for me, the stamping around, and I'm moving it aside. This needs to be a, a dry before I'm adding my a color to this page and let's see let gi let's give it a little blast of uh, from a heat tool just so I'll be sure that uh, the ink won't uh, smear it needs to be completely dry it's permanent uh, archival ink but it, it needs to be dry first so let's see I'm going to uh, try I had several ideas first I thought about doing a glaze like I've showed you in another video which uh, is taking a, a little bit of my a gel food coloring and adding it to glue and doing a glaze on top but uh, then I thought no not everybody has gel food coloring let's see if I can do it uh, uh, any, any way else than uh, the glaze and I'm thinking my sprays, but the sprays are also from gel, gel food coloring, but they are also, as I uh, already uh, made a video, 
I've got them from uh, the textile dye powder so I hope uh, it will work and if not uh, you can also take a uh, watercolors on top and add color or a uh, dilute acrylic uh, paint so I'm gonna uh, start with uh, the sprays and I hope it will work the problem I've, I've got uh, is that it's not the color that I want so I'm gonna try and dilute uh, an acrylic paint so it will just add color and not cover this is truly blue uh, deco art so putting down a little drop of paint water and let's hope for the best because I don't want it to cover whatever I've done here I just want added color and if this won't work then I'll bring out the watercolors so let's hope okay that's more the color I was thinking about but I don't want to see a paintbrush stroke so I'm uh, dipping with a, a sponge before it dries putting it down and just going over with the sponge don't want any brush strokes showing it's starting to take a shape at least what I was thinking when I started this uh, page I wanted some kind of denim uh, color in the background so it seems like it's working now so I've got a focal image for this page I uh, wanted some kind of flower and I had a pattern that I wanted to use and I've traced it on several uh, things. I started by tracing it and cutting it from a uh, wallpaper, uh, samples of wallpaper I have and I was thinking of going with it. Uh, this is one of the examples. Uh, this is from a uh, wallpaper. This one also and I was not sure about it so I went uh, again and then I traced it from uh, one of my jelly prints and that's what I'm going to go with it's more a uh, it pops more out of the page more contrast and more interest to to the whole thing and I'm going to wait for this to dry I'll glue this down and we'll continue I'll be back I'm back uh, this is dry and before I am attaching my flower I thought it would be better I want it more defined so I'm going with uh, this is a water reactive uh, pencil and I'm just going around the edges and I will activate it with a paintbrush and water so I decided it would be better to do it uh, before I'm uh, gluing it down and I'll just show you I'm 
I'm going to take a brush with a little bit of water and just going over the edges. You can also ink uh, around the edges with a makeup sponge and an ink pad. I just wanted it uh, like this. Don't know why. <laughs> Maybe I just wanted to use this pencil that I have so long and I haven't used it. <laughs> so I'm gonna continue going all over my, the edges of my flower and I'll come back whenever when it's ready. I'll be back. I'm back. So I wanted uh, to write here bloom and first I wanted uh, I tr wanted to use this uh, puzzle pieces that I sprayed with the uh, gold but they are so tiny so I had to give this idea up and I found the leftovers from this uh, a jelly print and I punched this uh, flowers from what was left uh, from my jelly print and now I'm going to stamp the words uh, the letters <laughs> not the words that I want on them and here is the B so let's see yeah and I'm going to uh, do a uh, so it would be bloom. Here it is. Oh, I think I'll just go over and on top with a permanent marker so it will be more noticeable and let's see I'm going to glue them down I'm using this is from a, something local from the cheap store it says mixed media glue by the way that it smells it's is it's like the uh, ethics six thousand it's smelly that's what I'm trying to say <laughs> so let's see maybe something like this yeah something <laughs> something something one letter down was really tiny leftovers but somehow I managed to get to punch this hair uh, free uh, flowers just so I'll have something to use This is it. That's my page. Very simple. And now just taking a permanent marker and a little bit more definition to my letters. And so it's acting up. Let's take another one. Okay, this one's working. So 
So this is it. <laughs> I'm finished with this page. I'm gonna try and make another background like this. I really like it. And this is it. So that's my page. And as I said, Sherry, uh, such such that please uh, contact me. I'm putting the link below to my Facebook page. And. This is it. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. Bye for now.